BICA for this celebrity artist interview, um, <laughs> sponsored by uh, The Guardian. Um, I'm Andrew Hart Davis, art critic of The Guardian, um, and I have been on the review show four times, which is just fantastic. No, it's fantastic. Um, I'm about to welcome onto this stage Damon Eamon. <laughs> Arguably the most famous British artist since Hockney. Unarguably the coolest. And along with his near namesake Damien Hurst, he was a YBA retreater in the 1990s and the biggest kind of enfant terrible since Lautrec was working in the fun de siècle Paris. <laughs> he is, of course, a turbine hall big hitter and his work is collected all over the world with his fudged knickers as his calling card. He went on to hit the headlines as a student at Goldsmiths when Saatchi paid a six-figure sum for his knackers. He went on to bag a race of turners famously in 93 with knickers and again in the early noughties with his turds on toast, which holds water even today. <laughs> For my money, his most fantastically eviscerating work has been post-rehab, and his distorted images of dead people in the bath is even more shocking than Bacon's goat sex iconography. He does, of course, live in Kentish Town, where I live, Ernach, and has been known for us to hang out with Amish Kapoor. And do you know what? After a night out with the aforementioned Amon and Nish, my hangovers the next morning are a little bit kind of, oh, hello, uh, ouch, but I won't hold that against it. Oh, uh, uh, fantastic, uh, that. Let's interview him. Would you please welcome to the stage of the ICA, Mr. Damon Amon. <laughs> thanks for being to be interviewed. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the ICA, which is fantastic. Um, right, I want, to, I want to move this on now. When you first won the Turner Prize in 93 with Nickers, that sorry. was, in a sense... Um, sorry, sorry, that, sorry, sorry, Andrew, that wasn't me. Sorry? <laughs> uh, that wasn't me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, that, that, that wasn't me, that was, uh, that was Tracy Eden. She, she won, I came in second. Really? Yeah. <laughs> When that, you won the Turner Prize, um, your second Turner Prize in the early oh, noughties, no, that was I, in, in a sense... I've stop you there, sorry Andrew, I'm, I'm, I have, I've never won the Turner Prize. <laughs> uh, Turds on toast. That was the Chapman Brothers. Right. Oh. Cheese on toast. That's the Chapman Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yep, sorry, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I am. I'm positive. Sorry Andrew, I, I thought I was here to talk about my work. Yeah, we are. Right, I kind of want to move this on now. Um, <laughs> Yanakas was, in a sense, a landmark for Martin Creed, not me. <laughs> right. You, you distorted images of dead people in the bath. Fantastic. Yeah, that's Rachel what? White Reed. <laughs> I'm with, right, I'm with it. He's doing an installation. He, he is his own art. You are an installation. <laughs> do some more. Come on, do some more. No, I don't do installations. <laughs> Definitely no installations, Andrew. I paint. <laughs> you paint. <laughs> yeah. Paint what? <laughs> Still life. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's objects. What did you say? Right, objects like excrement and evisceration. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those all point to kind of existential conceptual statement. No. Fruit and flowers. <laughs> uh, sometimes. sometimes around your genitalia, and then you're <laughs> in a cavernous studio in the East End of London. No, no, just fruit <coughs> and flowers, sometimes in a vase. I use brushes, oils, <laughs> canvas, and I capture light and texture and uh, form. And then, um, well, hopefully the viewer will enjoy the experience of looking at the picture. Fantastic. I mean, that exemplifies the innovation in British art. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does beg the obvious question that this critic's going to ask anyway is, 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 well, why has no one thought of this before? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, well, they have. <laughs> um, Rembrandt. Can Rembrandt, actually, fantastic. I love Rembrandt. Oh. I love Rembrandt. Rembrandt will be our next celebrity artist. <laughs> <laughs> Here at the ICM next month, and I will be asking Rembrandt why he decided to set up a studio in Hoxton and why he cut off his ear. <laughs> <laughs>